It's time we catch this man. He's been on the run for too long and breaking hearts. Tragic. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. By the way, you can get these t-shirts at districtlines.com slash alleyfits, as well as signed We Pretty Lit posters. So hurry and get yours before it's gone. Also, for those of you who didn't know, my song Tragic is now available on Apple Music, iTunes, and Spotify. And if we get it charting in the top 100 on iTunes, we will do a movie night together live on YouTube. It'll be a good time. So make sure you are buying, streaming, and downloading Tragic so we can do that. I believe in you, Fitz fam. We can do this. But anyways, let me just shut up because I'm ready to catch my catfish. If you're ready to catch the catfish, make sure to click that like button because we're about to dive on in. But wait, before we do that, let me give a quick shout out to my episode donators. Y'all the bomb. Y'all make it so we can choose those gold choices. So a big thank you to Mackenzie Ricker, Shalisha McMillan, and last but not least, Barbara Negron. Thank you guys so much for your donations. And without further ado, let's get on in to episode and find our catfish. Let me see if I've got this straight. Roland is a lying rat bastard who doesn't exist, but his body belongs to Chase, who's an arrogant prick. And Chase, the arrogant prick, wants you to track down Roland, who doesn't exist, so he can find out who has stolen his identity? Meanwhile, Greg is the nice guy who gave you a job and some chocolate cake. Yep, that about sums it up. I don't know what I'm doing here. I would just go home, but I don't want to fess up to my mom and dad about why I came in the first place. Oh, my break is almost over. I should get back to work. Okay, but Allie, I just want to point out, even though this isn't how we wanted things to go, you've had more boy drama in 24 hours than either of us have had in four years of high school. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Well, it sure doesn't feel like a good thing, Bryn. I know you're feeling rotten, but you're in a beautiful place with interesting guys and a new chance to experience new things. You're still closer to experiencing your secret summer checklist than you ever were back home. She right. All right, I'll remember. I gotta go, Bryn. Later. Here we go. Okay, ma'am, here's your check and your boxed up leftovers. Whoops, you incompetent little klutz. You just spilled clam sauce all over my handbag. Do you realize how much this handbag costs? More than your first car will. Well, excuse me. I am so sorry. Let me clean that up. Don't touch me. I'm leaving. Okay. Well, you can clean it up to yourself then. You can tell your boss I'm never coming back to this place. And that goes for all my friends as well. Just because I spilled? Oh gosh, what a disaster. Hey, you shouldn't worry about her. What? A lady like that can't have many friends anyway, right? From what I've seen of this town, I wouldn't be so sure. Oh, don't do that. Uh, no use crying over spilled clams, right? I'm sorry, don't mind me. She's right, I am a klutz or thanks, that's sweet. Um, I'm gonna say don't mind me because I'm like literally crying right in front of him. So I'm sorry, don't mind me. I've just been doing a lot of stupid things since I got here. You're new in town? Yeah. Some people here can be kind of difficult. I know. I'll pay for the meal. You shouldn't have to worry about it. Oh no, I couldn't let you do that. No, if it'll help get rid of those tears, it's the best money I ever spent. Aw, <gasps> guys, that's very kind of you. Thank you. I'm Allie, by the way. What's your name? I'm Joey, and you're welcome. Uh, I'll see you around, maybe. Okay. That could be our catfish, ladies and gentlemen. What was all the hubbub about? Just a mess I made. It's all cleaned up now. Well, aside from that little mishap, I'd say you had a pretty great first day. Thanks. It was nice to be distracted from last night's drama. Well, I'm getting off now too. If you're up for more distraction, maybe we could go see a movie? Oh, oh, that's really nice of you, but I can't. Chase is picking me up. Really? Chase? His apology won you over? Well, he didn't actually apologize. It's a long story. Oh, there's this car pulling up. I gotta go get my stuff. Awkward. Allie here? Yeah, she's in the back. Cool. Look, she's a nice girl. Don't do anything stupid with her. The hell's that supposed to mean? Me. You know what it means. I've heard the stories about you and your friends. The drunk driving, the drugs. Ah! 
the girls you go through like toilet paper. Daddy's connections get you out of trouble, but no one thinks twice about the used people you leave behind. Relax, lobster boy. She's not my type. Oh, yikes. Oh no, I can have any girl I want on the entire East End. You think I'd pick some desperate middle-class YouTuber who waits tables? Oh, well, the tea has been spilled, ladies and gentlemen. I feel attacked. Always the sweet talker, this guy. Or, and this is why I should have taken 10 seconds longer. Or, I'm just crazy about you too, Chase. I'm gonna say always the sweet talker. Always the sweet talker, this guy. Let's get this over with. Wait, you're wearing that? What's wrong with this? Nothing. I mean, I mean, at least you were kinda cute at that party. Tactful, as always. I'd swear that he checked me out when I walked in just now. He's still as gorgeous as his pictures, so maybe there's a chance? I'ma change into something cute because you never know. Thank you to my donators, by the way. Better? I guess. At least now my car won't smell like seafood for days. Don't listen to him, you look great. Allie, if you need to go somewhere, I can give you a ride. No, it's fine, Greg. Chase and I have a checklist to work our way through. What the hell does that mean? Ugh. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. This is stressful. All right, so here's the checklist Roland sent. Which one are we gonna do first? Let me see. One of these first three, romantic lighthouse, 300 year old church, or a colonial farm. Let's go to the romantic lighthouse first. All right, the lighthouse it is. So Roland was your online boyfriend. Explain to me what that is, cause I don't get it. It's just what it sounds like. But doesn't the whole point of having a girlfriend involve, you know, being in the same physical space? Well, sure, that's nice, but Roland and I shared something deeper than that. Our minds, our hearts, our souls. We were connected. Sounds about as exciting as church. Oh, and just as much bullshit. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know if I can ever date Chase. I don't know. Well, it can be very exciting, but I don't expect someone as shallow and superficial as you to understand. Oh. Tea. Blah, 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 your quaint middle class values are boring, Allie. I'll take a warm body over an imaginary soul every day of the week. Ah, oh, so I've heard, well, it doesn't have to be either or. You've never felt a connection to a girl that went beyond the physical? Uh, I'm gonna say so I've heard. So I've heard. You girls with your heads full of romance and fairy tales. Romance is a crock of shit. It was invented by guys like me to get into girls' pants. Yeah, y'all, he's not the one for me. You don't know the first thing about romance. And you don't know the first thing about guys. If, wow. Wow, it's really beautiful. It's over 200 years old. Back when this was all swamp and dirt roads, travelers used to come here and stay the night in the spare room in the bottom. How do you know so much about this? Turns out I'm not just a pretty face. I can read a historical site marker. Oh my gosh. It's getting dark. The lighthouse is about to turn on. Let's watch it then. <gasps> Amazing. I've gotta get a photo of this. Go girl, get your camera out and just Yes queen, I have to hand it to your man Roland. I can imagine the girls getting all kinds of in the mood when they're brought here. So what are you taking these pictures for? Art, self-expression, ever heard of them? Oh yeah, I'm a big fan of self-expression. Oh really? What's your medium of choice? Let me show you. Is he about to kiss me? Cause uh, boy, you could turn around. What? To be continued? Are you serious? Ugh, they always just be leaving me. I'm mad. But you guys have to help me. Do I kiss him back or no? Do we even like him? Like, so far, I don't know about him. He's kind of mean and like so materialistic. So I don't know. Who do you guys like? Greg or that other guy? Who was the other guy? I swear there was an other guy. I forgot his name, the nerdy looking guy. But make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let everybody know about this episode T. And you can get one of these shirts at districtlines.com slash Fitz as well as signed We Pretty Lit posters. So go get yours before it's gone. And don't forget to follow my social medias over here so we can talk about this episode. And don't forget to buy, stream, and download my song Tragic so we can get it charting in the top 100 and do a movie night. It'll be a good time. So have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless you every step.